it's Linda here from Gumlet Lane Wearable Art. Welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, welcome and I hope you enjoy what I have for you today and in the future videos. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and if you do enjoy this video, then please make sure to subscribe. It's free to do so. And you can also like, uh, click the like button, comment and share my videos with uh, friends who uh, might be beady people or family that might be beady people. Um, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish you all a very happy new year, a very happy and prosperous new year. Um, I have so many projects coming up this year for you and I hate for you to miss any of them. So make sure that you ring the bell at the bottom where you uh, subscribe so you get notifications when I post a new video. Okay, that's out of the way. Let's um, get on with today's project. Um, it's another wire project. And an earring just adjust my light here a little bit um, yeah I think it's really beautiful it's quite easy to do it's a hoop earring um, it's got its own ear wire there you just pop a little plastic um, doobie on the end of it when you've got your earring on to keep it on the back um, also recommend that uh, these are uh, they're between a three and a four millimeter um, little amethyst uh, bead that I have here and I suggest that you use um, smooth ones uh, that it works much easier well it's much easier to work with I should say than uh, than um, using faceted beads I've done uh, this one here that's I've got the faceted beads but it's um it's quite hard to wrap around them so it's, it's a little bit different style there um, and this one here too with the faceted which is the same style as this one. But uh, yeah, a little bit harder to wrap around, but up to you, you can use which, whichever you like. I'm just suggesting to use um, a smooth round bead. All right, let's get started. I've cut a piece of, um, I'm using brass wire here, <clears throat> natural brass wire. Um, uh, this piece is uh, five, five inches long. It's 20 gauge. So we've got a piece of 20 gauge, we're just going to use a mandrel if you don't have one of these mandrels just something um, that was going to give you a round shape uh, yeah so just find something around the house that you can use okay we're going to line that up roughly so you've got about the same amount on each side and we, I'm, I'm on that second row there so I'm just going to bend that up and around Getting them to cross over at the back. Just like that. So you've got that shape there. One side a bit longer than the other. Move that out of the way. <clears throat> then from here, we're just going to take our round nose pliers choose whichever one you want to use I'm just going to do the short one here and we're just going to make a loop but if I grab it this way and I'm using a I've got a new phone for Christmas and um, I'm used to a Samsung so this is an iPhone and uh, hopefully this video comes out well first time I've used it to, to do a video I'm still getting used to it so we've got a loop like that there just going to take our chain nose pliers and just going to turn that that loop. Now I've been a, on a bit of a kick over the last um, month and a bit on uh, back on onto the wire, so that's why these videos are uh, all about wire wrapping. So, okay, now we're just going to cut off that end there. It's a little bit too long. Okay, cut that off. Through there, that's probably perf the perfect size. Okay, now we're going to do a little bit of hammering. And because this is spare wire, I'm using um, my metal hammer. Hopefully this won't jump around too much and, and it won't be too noisy. We'll see how we go. And I'm just hammering from roughly 
uh, probably, um, what would that be in inches? On a quarter of an inch or something from the from the top of the thing there, and we're just going to hammer around. Turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. about right to me. Get the hammer and that out of the way now. Okay, from here we're going to take, um, uh, I didn't tell you, sorry, we're going to use a uh, 26 gauge wire in the copper. Just move my camera down here a little bit. This, um, what I can see through the camera looks a lot darker than it did through my old phone, so hopefully it's not going to be a dark video. All right, I haven't opened this yet, so this is a new... Now, we want a fairly long piece. Um, I'll just wind out what I think and then I'll give you an idea of how long it is. I'm going to say that's about two, two and a half feet, if I remember my feet properly, my feet measurements. Yeah, roughly two and a half feet. Okay, I'm going to cut that. And then from here, I'm going to open that up. And I'm just going to take my wire. And then I'm just going to start wrapping three or four times. Whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay, and then push those together. That looks pretty good to me. Cut off that little tail as close as you can to the frame. Just grab my chain nose pliers and I'm going to just smush that down. Feeling to see if it's uh, not rough, which it's not. Okay, you don't have to worry about these too much because they're pretty much going to be covered covered over anyway. Okay, from here, just bring my wire out and we're going to pick up a bead. Now you can do this in two ways. You can start from the middle bead if you wanted to, um, which means you have to judge roughly where your middle is here and you would um, put your wraps just slightly to the um, either side whichever way you're wrapping from just slightly so it's off center and start with your first bead there and then come up this way and then come back that way but I've just I think well why bother just uh, I'm starting from one side so I'm bringing my bead down <clears throat> now don't worry if it's not in exactly the right position at the moment because you can we can always move it um, when we get around there. So I'm just going to come up around through that. Oh, I've done this from the wrong side now. Okay, let me turn this over. Now this is going to be khaki handed for me. Okay, turn it around. Okay, I get that bead sitting up there on top. There we go. And I'm just going to wrap a couple of times. This is so much more awkward on camera, it really is, especially while I'm working. Push those wraps up. 
Okay, bring that wire up to the top, string on your next bead. Bring this down here. Okay, got that one up there where I want it. Back through the loop, wrap it around a couple of times. Pick up your next bead. Bring it down. And wrap it around. Try to keep the wires as tight as you can. And next to each other. Okay, um, so I'll do the last two beads and then I'll, I'll come back to you and we'll carry on from there. Okay, I'm back. I've got my whole uh, five beads strung on. I forgot to mention at the beginning too that you needed five beads for this. So you've got a centre one and then two either side. Um, just You can fiddle around with them. You want them to face towards the front. You don't want them sitting on top of the frame. So just fiddle around with them a little bit and get them sitting in equal distances as well. So just like they're sitting like that. Okay, from here, so I've wrapped twice at the, I'm um, sorry, twice at the end here. Um, so now we're going to start wrapping around to give it a bezel look. So uh, the easiest way to do this is to come in from behind and underneath. And we're going to wrap around three times. So whichever way is the easiest for you to wrap it, I find turning it the easiest. So how many times is that? One, two, this is my second one now. And the third one. And the first one is, oh, was I off camera then? Sorry, guys. The first, um, bead's always the easiest one to do so now we're going to come in and under and we're just going to wrap twice or once and up again like that and then around the next bead You're just trying to keep them down reasonably low. You don't want them, otherwise they'll pop off the top of the bead. Just push it down if you have to. third time and then wrap again around once and then coming up for that as if you were going to wrap it a second time just like that so we're going to continue on around I'll do one more bead with you and then I'll do the last two off camera and oops, three bringing that around wrapping between those beads just like that so I'll do these last two beads and I'll um, get back to you Okay, I'm back. 
so I've got the whole lot of them done I've still got some wire left over um, if you've got enough wire left over you can re um, wrap and go back around and finish off at the other end um, I could possibly do that because this one here in the middle the um, wraps are a little bit lower but I can fiddle around with that later and bring them up a bit with my um, chain nose pliers so uh, to finish this off so I've come around done my uh, third wrap gone back around through the uh, the loop and I'm coming up here at the back so come here I'm just going to come around one more time bring that wire up here and just go around a couple of times you only need a couple of times because you've already, already got wraps there I'm just going to hold it in nice and tight now um, as I said you could finish off here or you could go if you've got enough wire left go back around and finish off on the other side I'm just going just for the purpose of, of time cut that off uh, get my chain nose pliers now if you can't do this very well with your chain nose pliers you can always use a pair of um, your uh, Goodness, what are these things called? Oh, anyway, you know what they're called. You use them on um, on your... Uh, goodness gracious, Lynn, I've gone totally blank. Anyway, you know what they're used for. So you just use the first notch in your... Um, whatever they're called. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. And always use them facing, uh, with your, the back of them facing towards what you're trying to... To do just to pinch down that uh, little piece of wire there it works really really well you watch as soon as I finish this video I'll um, remember the name of these things didn't get that one very well there we go oh, God, I still can't think of the name of them okay uh, one last thing to do is we need to turn uh, burnish your off your your, um, your ear wire so just uh, using your round wire tool just get in there and put that till it's nice and smooth a little bit more there nice and smooth now and I'm just grabbing your chain nose pliers just grab that end whichever way is most comfortable for you and just give it a slight turn like that and pop your little plastic or metal one whichever ear back you've got crimping pliers there we go I remembered it crimping pliers yay Oh, I tell you and from here totally up to you I did it on this one here I just did it on one side to show you but I um, used a file and just um, burnished that a little bit so it gives it that um, what's it called that look um, burnished the burnished uh, is that what it is oh, I can't remember now a burnished look I'm going to um, patina these when I'm done and I'll post a photo of that at the end of this video to um, show you so just um, all I've got I just grabbed this out of the, the shed <laughs> it's just an old file and just give that a little bit of a a go over which when when it if you do patina it this will um, come up really nicely so just a little go like that I wouldn't be doing it on my finger like this I'd be doing it on a different surface but to show you in the video yeah just to give it a little bit of a a burnish look there and I'll do the other side later and as I said I'll patina these and um, uh, put it at the end of the video so you can just fiddle around with these a little bit them to sit a bit nicer anyway that's our, our pair of earrings 
I'll move this stuff out of the way so you can see better. So that's our pair of earrings there. Um, I think they're they're lovely and they they just look beautiful when you've got them on. And as I said, I'll pull, I will um, publish on with them when I've uh, patented them. Um, yeah, they're the, they're the other two that I made. This one here's, I just did a little bit of a herringbone pattern at the top of that one. Um, on, on this one too, um, which I was going to say you could do on these, so I was trying to think of what it was I wanted to tell you. If you have trouble with the 26 gauge wire going around, you can uh, thread your beads on with a 26 gauge wire and finish it off. And then you can grab a 28 gauge wire and just... Um, wire them in between your coils it's much easier to um, wrap around so you could um, what I've done three times around you might need to go four or maybe five if you like the look of three leave it at three uh, but four or five times around with the 28 gauge wire and then just finish it off in your coils over here it makes it a lot easier to wrap so but that's um, totally up to you try the 26 and if you can't manage it do the 28 and just wrap it around as many times as you like the look of but i think that bezel look just looks really really nice okay guys well that's it for this video and uh, don't forget i've got heaps more coming up in the, over the next uh, few weeks and for the rest of the year as well but um over the next few weeks and um yeah so um that's it for me um uh, lovely to have your company for the last uh however long this video has taken and i will see you in the next one everybody have a good one bye